Hello and welcome strategy battle gamers to the GBHL YouTube channel. You're here with your host GBHL Jamie and welcome to my hobby vlog. Uh, this week I've decided that I am going to need to do the, the Clansman of Lamedan for the Battle Companies campaign on my Patreon account. So we're going to see me get these guys painted up. So I have obviously clipped them all, um, put them onto their bases, super glued them in and sanded them. Next I'm going to spray them and come back once I have got the skin oh there he is the skin completed on these models which I have to say I'm really looking forward to doing them they like the, the uh, sort of Dunlending style and um, from painting Guild Ball I've really enjoyed sort of painting the, the bald guys there um, so you have to do less hairs better but uh, with the yard coat there's a quite nice little thing you can do to make the head seem like they've got a proper bald head but we shall come back once they've been spray coated and their skin is pretty much finished. And so we're back, I have completed the skin on the models and got a bit eager and did the base layer on their kilts as well. And something sort of new for me with this model, I am, um, maybe I'll see it if, I, if it wants to focus on this model here. I've actually attempted to do eyes on the models for once and they seem to have come out reasonably well. I'm, I'm happy with them for my first attempt. I uh, can't see on him the shadows covering his eyes, but I have attempted to do them. Uh, it's something I decided that I should t try to do. I'm a little bit more confident with my painting, his eyes are a bit gog eyed. Um, I'm, I'm getting better with my painting, um, and eyes sort of always tend to hey, face detection has picked up the guy on the left. Woohoo! Um, something I've, I've always sort of needed to do and knew that it would make my models look more realistic but um yeah still not still not as good as it could be but anyway that's the models as they are so far I'm going to do the uh, layer up on the kilts start getting that uh, looking brighter and then hopefully I'm going to uh, check the internet for uh, painting tips on tartan so if I find anything decent I'll make sure to post it in the description below but onwards and upwards Right, and welcome back. Um, I have completed now the blue on the uh, the kilts. Uh, I considered, well, I tried to do some um, tartan, but I just could not get it looking good. So I've scrapped the idea. I'm trying to keep it blue uh, with the dark blue recesses that the ink's gone into. Uh, for that blue, I used a Necron Abyss as the base. Then, uh, where's it gone? Uh, Mordium blue as the next layer up then washed it with uh, where is it azure and blue then highlighted with techless blue I went back to azure and blue wash and that's the current stages at now and I think I might just put one more layer of techless blue on just to really make it sort of pop with the highlights then I'm going to move on to doing the metallics because I fancy a break from cloth which I've started here so that's the base layer, uh, you're able to see it in there. Uh, that's going to get a, a, a dark null oil wash. Um, and then I'll pick out the detail on the edges with uh, rune fang steel. And their swords will be done with lead belcher washed with null oil and then highlighted with the rune fang steel again. So I'll come back once I've done that, but other than that I'm pretty happy with how these are going to be honest. They're looking pretty decent, happy with the faces, the uh, skin, the cloths come out nice, so we'll just crack on. Right, it's the, uh, it's the next day, it's a bit lighter, got some natural light in the room. So you can see I have uh, inked the silver on them and done a, a brief bit of highlighting. And I've also uh, painted the second bit of tartan, well second bit of their kilt um, in this sort of purple colour here <coughs> sorry purple colour here uh, I used a base of uh, where's it gone uh, Homogon purple an old foundation paint then did a wash of uh, Null Oil <coughs> then highlighted up with the new one we got Gene Steel purple and it's looking pretty nice and I think I'm going to leave it at that uh, as I think another wash and I'd lose the highlights on it uh, next up, I'm going to do the sword and then start picking out the details, such as the um, <coughs> sorry, 
But yeah, these are just the uh, the straps on the models. You can see it on the back of his legs there that he's doing, and they also have them on the top in between the two plates of uh, mail. Yeah, plate mail. Um, so that yeah, they're looking coming on quite nicely. I'm looking forward to uh, getting them finished. I also need to do the boots, paint them as well, and then uh, there we done. That's uh, all in sort of a few hours work. I think about six hours I reckon for the six models. One was missing. So we'll come back once they're finished, almost. Okay, so we've uh, jumped forwards about four days in time currently. Um, I just come to edit the video and realised I didn't finish it, and uh, you could see that now. This is the finished product. Well, not entirely finished. I am going to put some grass tufts on there, but I don't have any currently. So I'm going to pick some up probably when I'm next in Element or Slayer. Um, yeah, they're looking, they look nice. I'm happy with them, very happy. Uh, next up, I will be painting the uh, Axemen of Lossanark and something very special as well. I've got them built here. And I've also, for battle companies, where can you see it there? <gasps> One of the dogs. Woof, 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 woof. Uh, that's one of Grip, Fang and Wolf with farm maggots, but I'm going to use him as a hunting dog in battle companies, which these guys are getting painted up for. So guys, thank you for watching my uh, hobby vlog. Sorry it's a short one. Um, these guys were painted in a total of six hours, so I'm pretty damn happy with how they turned out for six hours worth of work. Uh, if you want to come see battle companies, make sure you follow me on, well, support me on Patreon, uh, $13 a month. As ever guys, be sure to comment, like, share and subscribe, support your hobby hobby, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and happy strategy battle gaming.